Hi, my name is Paul and this is Steve. Steve uh, just turned 60 years old and uh, came to see us uh, a little while back because he was having some issues with some paresthesias in his feet, also uh, been developing some balance issues while walking, uh, tripping and having some, some difficulty with uh, certain steps, uh, also having some problems in the arms. What I want to show you today are some of the physical findings and neurologic findings that um, we have in evaluating Steve. Uh, so first thing I want to show you are his reflexes. You can see we're a little hyper reflexive there. C7, C5, I really don't have much here. C6, slightly hyper reflexive. C7, we're hyper reflexive there. C5, we have a little reflex, and C6, we're really diminished here, but he has some significant C6 nerve root compression in the cervical spine. We're going to go down here and check his reflexes. Because we had a little hyperreflexiveness here, we're going to check him here, and you can see we're quite hyperreflexive there also. So we see hyperreflexivity in both sides, so we're going to check to see if he has any clonus, and you can see right here that he continues to bounce. So that's kind of concerning to us because of the hyperreflexive reflexes and the clonus. So what I'm going to do now is a Hoffman's test to see if we have any upper motor neuron lesion or um, cord uh, stenosis. So I'm going to just take the middle finger, hold it at the tip, and I'm going to flick it. And if you can see right here, you'll notice that he gets a little bit of approximation of the thumb and forefinger. And the right side is not quite as definitive as the left side. See how we have the fingers and thumb come together? There's also a bouncing to it. That tells us that there's something going on at his, either in his brain or at his spinal cord level. I did a Babinski reflex and um, that was negative a while ago. Um, so. Because of this, uh, he, uh, we sent him to a neurosurgeon and they're going to be releasing um, his cervical spine, taking some pressure off. He has some severe central cord stenosis, especially around the C6 area. They'll also be decompressing his uh, foramen and uh, doing a cervical spine fusion, uh, an anterior cervical spine fusion. Um, so, significant increase in reflexes, a positive uh, Hoffman sign, and clonus really should um, have you drive your patient to, to see a neurologist and neurosurgeon for uh, examination and uh, testing and surgery. Thanks.